Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Storytime with Grandma Kate. It's been a while since I read a book for you, and I was really looking forward to recording today. I chose one of my very favorite Junie B. Jones books. Junie B. Jones is a beauty shop guy. So I'll be sharing chapters. I believe there's like nine chapters in this one. Let me just double check. There are nine. So in this video, we're going to be reading the first three chapters. Then in the second one will be the next three, and then there'll be a third video with the last three. So as always, if you get tired or you get bored with this story, just hit pause. You can come back to it whenever you want. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy this one as much as I'm going to enjoy reading it for you. Do you like going to the beauty shop? I do sometimes. I'm lucky. My, uh, my uh, bonus daughter cuts my hair for me. So my house is a beauty shop when she comes to my house. But we'll see what Junie B. Jones does in this fun story. Chapter one is called My Brand New Different Name. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B and that's all. Only guess what? That doesn't even matter anymore because I am changing my name to a brand new different name. It popped right into my head this morning when I waked up. That's how come I jumped out of bed and I zoomed to the kitchen to tell mother and daddy. There she is jumping up out of bed. Have you ever called yourself a different name before? I wonder what she's going to call herself. They were sitting at the breakfast table. People, people, guess what? I am changing my name to a brand new different name and it is the loveliest name I ever heard of. Mother was feeding my baby brother named Ollie. Daddy was reading the paper. They did not pay attention to me. I climbed up on my chair and I shouted my new name real loud. Pinky Gladys Gutsman. My new name is Pinky Gladys Gutsman. Just then, Daddy looked at me over the top of the paper. Now he was paying attention. Excuse me, could you run that by me one more time, he asked. Your new name is Pinky Gladys. What? I clapped my hands, real happy. Gutsman, I shouted, very thrilled. Pinky Gladys Gutsman. And so from now on, everybody has to call me that or else I will not even answer. Okay, Daddy, okay? I hugged myself. Isn't that just the cutest name you ever heard of? Because Pinky is the loveliest color I ever saw. Plus, Gladys Gutsman is the snack lady at school. And so who wouldn't want to be named after that woman? That's what I would like to know. Daddy shook his head. I don't know. This doesn't really sound like a good idea to me, he said. I did a frown at that guy. Why, Daddy? How come? How come it doesn't sound good? Well, for one thing, it's much too long, he said. No one will be able to remember a name as long as that one. Tapped on my chin. Hmm, I said. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Then all of a sudden, my whole face got happy. Hey, I got it. I got the answer. After that, I zoomed to my room, and I got some paper, and I zoomed right back again. A name tag. I will make a real name tag. That way people can read my new name and they won't even have to remember it. I gave the paper to mother. Write it down, write it down, write my new name on this paper. Then we can pin it right on my clothes. Mother did a frown at daddy. Way to go, Ace, she said, kind of mumbling. After that, she wrote my new name on the paper and she pinned it to my PJs. I danced all around the floor. Pinky Gladys Gutsman, my name is Pinky Gladys Gutsman, I sang real joyful. Mother and Daddy didn't say any words. They just kept on looking at me. Finally, Daddy got up from the table. Well, gotta go, he said. I've got an appointment to get a haircut. Mother sprang out of her chair. She grabbed Daddy by his shirt. Oh, no, you don't. You can't, she said. I have an appointment to take Ollie to the doctor this morning, remember? If you need to get your hair cut, you're going to have to take you know who with you. I tapped on her. Gutsman, I said. The name is Pinky Gladys Gutsman. Daddy run his fingers through his hair and he did a big sigh. And then he told me to hurry up and get dressed. I jumped way high in the air. 
Hooray, I shouted, hooray, hooray. Pinky Gladys Gutsman is going to the barber shop with her daddy, and she really enjoys that place. After that, I twirled and twirled all over the kitchen. Only too bad for me, because I accidentally twirled into the refrigerator and the stove and the dishwasher. I got knocked on the floor, and my head made a loud clunking sound. I felt it real careful. Hmm. Good news, I said. No damage. After that, I jumped back up, and I ran to get dressed for the barber shop. Why do you think she's so excited about her new name? When you were in kindergarten, did you want to be called a different name? I wanted to change my name to Karen because that was my Aunt Karen's name, and I liked that name. But I like my name now. Chapter two is called Meeting Maxine. Me and Daddy drove in the car a real long time. It was not that enjoyable. Are we there yet? How come we're not there? Are we lost? Huh, Daddy? Did you lose us? I asked. Just then, Daddy pulled into a parking lot. Hey, we're here, we're there. Excuse me, she says, hey, we're there, we're there. I hollered, very thrilled. I looked through the window. Yeah, only here's the problem. I don't even recognize this place because this is not your regular barber shop. Daddy got me out of my seatbelt. This is a different barber shop, he explained. Someone at work recommended it. Only it's not actually a barber shop. It's more of what you'd call, well, it's a beauty shop. My eyes got real big and wide at that guy. A beauty shop? Oh boy, because I love beauty shops even more than barber shops. I jumped up and down and all around. Hey, everybody, my daddy's going to a beauty shop. My daddy is going to a beauty shop. Shh. Jimmy B, please, said Daddy. You have to be on your best behavior in this place, and I mean it. No acting crazy. I smoothed my jacket very proper. Yeah, only I don't even know what you're talking about, I said. I never acted crazy in my whole entire career. Right. <laughs> After that, I skipped very happy through the beauty shop door. There was a lady behind a counter. And her face had big, red, shiny lips on it. Name, please, she said. Robert Jones, said Daddy. I stood up on my tippy toes. Yeah, he has some other names, too, I told her. Because some people call him Bob, and some people call him Bobby. Plus, today, my mother called him Ace. The lady looked over the counter at me. And what is your name, she asked. I quick took off my jacket and showed her my name tag. Pinky, I said. My name is Pinky Gladys Gutsman, because I just thought of that cute name this morning, and it is adorable, I think. There she is, talking to the beauty shop lady with the big red lips. What do you think that lady's going to say about her new name? The lady looked funny at me. She didn't ask any more questions. Pretty soon, a different lady walked up, and she shook Daddy's hand. Hello, I'm Maxine, and I'll be cutting your hair today, she said real nice. My eyes popped out at that woman, because she was wearing a name tag just like me. Maxine, hey, Maxine, look down here. I have on a name tag, too, I hollered. Maxine fluffed my hair. Pinky Gladys Gutsman, huh, she said. Well, Pinky Gladys Gutsman, since you're already wearing a name tag, I guess that means you should be my helper today. Yes, I yelled, because I already know how to be a helper. On account of sometimes, I help my grandma, Grandpa Miller fix stuff, and last weekend we fixed the upstairs toilet, and I got to touch that big ball that floats on top. Maxine laughed. Wow, a helper with plumbing experience. This must be my lucky day, she said. After that, she holded my hand, and, she, and me and her took Daddy to the sink. Then Maxine washed Daddy's hair and let me hold the fluffy towel. I holded it real tight in my arms. Look, Maxine, look at me holding the fluffy towel. See how good I am doing? I am not even letting it touch the floor. Only too bad for me, because just then, my nose got some itchy fuzzies in it, and I started to sneeze. Ah, ah. Achoo! 
I sneezed right into the flocky towel. It was soft as a feather. That's how come I wiped my itchy nose on that softy thing. Plus also I blowed a tiny bit. Maxine made a face. Mm. Yeah, well, you don't have to worry because I'm not even contagious, I told her. Then I gave her the fluffy towel to dry daddy's hair. But Maxine said, uh, no, thank you. And she dried daddy's hair with a different fluffy towel. That was, that was wise of her. After that, all of us went to a giant spinny chair. Hey, I love this kind of chair, I said, real excited. I climbed up there zippity quick. Spin me, spin me, spin me, I hollered. Daddy leaned close to my ear. His face did not look pleasant. Get down, he whispered very chilling. I got down. Maxine patted my head and she gave me a broom. It was big and wide. Here, helper, you can sweep your daddy's hair as I'm cutting it, she said. Yes, I said back, because I am excellent at this appliance, I believe. After that, I held the broom real tight in my hands, and I runned up and down the floor. Look, Maxine, look at me sweeping. See me? See how fast I am? Only too bad for me, because just then a lady didn't get out of my way, and she walked right in front of my big wide broom, and her feet got sweeped. Ow, she hollered. Ouch, ow, ouch. Daddy run over and snatched my broom away because I wasn't the helper anymore, apparently. And after that, he gave Maxine lots of dollars and he took my hand and me and him rushed right out of that place. What do you think of Junie B's behavior in the beauty shop, in the beauty parlor? A little obnoxious, wasn't she, being loud and running all over the place? What would have been a better choice for her, do you think? And if I were her mommy or daddy, I would have brought a bag of books or toys or, you know, something she could do to play with to keep her busy. Well, let's see what happens when they get home. The next chapter is called Practicing. Daddy drove me home in the car. I kept on sniffing the air. You smell like a lovely woman, I said. Daddy wasn't that friendly. It's the hair gel, he grouched. I sniffed some more. Hmm, I love that smelly hair gel, I said. Plus also, I love sweeping and holding the fluffy towel. And so maybe I might be a beauty shop guy when I grow up. Wonderful, said Daddy. I know it is wonderful, I said. And here's another wonderful thing. I already have a name tag and a towel and a broom and some scissors. And so I am all set to go to work, probably. Just then, Daddy pulled the car to the curb. No, Junie B, no. You are not all set up to go to work, he said. You don't just pick up some scissors and start cutting hair. Do you understand? Working in a beauty shop takes years and years of practice. Yeah, only I already know that, I said. I already know it takes years and years of practice. Years and years and years, said Daddy. I did a huffy breath at him. Oh, I already know that, I told you, I said again. After that, I leaned back in my seat and I thinked about the years and years of practice. Finally, I did a big sigh. I would have to get started right away. Daddy pulled the car into our driveway and I run inside my house zippity quick. I'm home, I hollered. I'm home from the beauty shop. Mother run out of baby Ollie's room. Shh, you just put your brother down for a nap, she said. I stood there a minute, because that woman just gave me a sneaky idea, that's why. Oh, I did a fake yawn. Hmm, I need a nap, I think, I said, because that beauty shop got me all tired out. I walked to my bedroom. Well, nighty night, don't let the bug bug, the bed bugs fight, I said. Mother followed me. Her face looked suspicious. Suspicious is the grown up word for, I think you might be fibbing. Mommy's smart. Whoa, 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 hold there, right a second, said mother. I thought you hated naps. 
Oh, oh, I do. I said, I do hate naps. But today I worked at the beauty shop and that job got me pooped. I tell you. After that, I closed my door and I got under my covers. Mother peeked in at me. I did a fake snore. And then I waited and waited till she closed the door again. I stayed in bed until it was safe. And then finally, I tippy toed to my desk and I opened the top drawer real quiet. And I searched my hands all around that thing. And then all of a sudden my heart got very pumpy because my hands felt what they were looking for. And their name is my bestest shiny scissors. So we're gonna stop there. And our next video, I'm gonna start with chapter four called Snipping, Snipping, Snipping. Do you know what she's gonna do? Can you guess? You might have done this at home yourself, but do not try this at home just because Junie B does it. So we're gonna find out what happens after she does some snipping, snipping, snipping. So as always, thanks for watching everybody. Until I see you at our next video, have a great day.